reporting from the University of Bristol, where over the past few days, the official judging of Ovid in the West Country 2020 has been taking place. In this unprecedented year, judges have received an extraordinarily high caliber of entries from local schools, with creative works inspired by a number of Ovid stories, from Orpheus and Eurydice to Theseus and the Minotaur. Now let's go to the competition judges for their thoughts on what they have seen so far. Hello, I'm Joan Foley from the University of the West of England in Bristol. I'm delighted to be one of the judges for this year's Ovid in the West Country competition. Ovid came to schools in the West Country in 2017, um, inspired by the work of Bob Lister and his work with storytellers Hugh Lupton and Daniel Morden um, in the creation of resources that you've used actually from the Classical Tales website to help you think about the tales that you've shared with us in your wonderful pieces of artwork. I'm going to talk about just two schools, um, Sheldon and St Catherine's School, um, and tell you a little bit about what the judges thought of those entries. But we really want to emphasise that all of the entries were of a really high quality this year. So congratulations to you all. So Sheldon. Sheldon offered us some lovely entries based on the story of Theseus and the Minotaur and also based on Prometheus. So we had a wonderful cake that told the story of Theseus, um, a beautifully created um, cake. We were sorry not to be able to eat it. And that story was so clever because it told the story in, in different scenes. We also received a lovely entry, which was um, a sculpture, really, a creation of two heads, Theseus and the Minotaur, beautifully made, very cleverly made, uh, thinking about the threads of the story and the connections between those two characters. It was really impressive. There was also an entry which was a working Lego model of Prometheus. We were absolutely delighted to receive that model and very glad to get the video clip that showed us how it worked. Very well done to Sheldon School. St Catherine's also offered us some really lovely entries again based on the Theseus um, story but also on the Midas story. So in terms of Theseus we had a beautifully written, a very well sustained modern retelling of the story of Theseus um, in a very well controlled prose, so well done to that writer. A stunningly good poem, a beautifully composed poem that really captured the voice um, of those creatures from myths and legends. This one was based on Theseus, um, a really, really impressive piece of writing, so well done. A beautiful painting, a really impressive painting based on the Midas tale, really effective, really held our attention. And we were also very pleased to see a group entry from St Catherine's School. That was a film version of um, Theseus and we were delighted to receive that. So well done to both of those schools. Hello, my name is Pandelis Michelakis and I'm the director of the Classics Hub at the University of Bristol. Being a judge in this year's Ovid in the West Country competition has given me the opportunity to take a good look at some very imaginative and original artworks. I was particularly impressed by the range of media used and the many angles from which they approached Ovid's stories. As far as the Wydean School is concerned, three films provided a nice range of distinct approaches to animation and storytelling. Stop motion, scratch and hand-drawn animation with some very effective use of music and dialogues. I was also very impressed by The Seven String Liar, a very fine piece of work which really made me wonder about all the skill and knowledge that went into it. Turning to Cardiff High School, two submissions entitled Icarus offered very impressive attention to detail and colour. Another one displayed an impressive patchwork of an appropriately, I thought, intimidating Medusa as a pillow cover. Finally, Didelus curses his genius, combined quirky captions, beautifully crafted three-dimensional artwork and 
well-chosen moments from the story of Didalus and Icarus. Well done to everyone for some very competitive and imaginative submissions. Hello, I'm Hannah Marie Chidwick. I'm a lecturer in the Department of Classics and Ancient History at the University of Bristol, and I was one of the judges of this year's Ovid in the West Country competition. Thank you to everyone who took part, and especially thank you to your teachers uh, for their support in your magnificent creations. Well done everybody who took part from John of Gaunt School. You clearly have some budding artists amongst you because your drawing skills were so impressive. I particularly love the little details of the fallen leaves in the mythical creature picture, very autumnal, and the sweeping curves of the skiller drawing, just beautifully rendered. I was also really intrigued by the two sides of Theseus pictures. I'd love to know more about the story behind that interpretation of the myth. So well done, you should all be really proud of your drawing skills and of your hard work. Well done to everybody who took part from Nuant School. Your entries were so creative. You had clearly thought carefully, not just about the myths, the stories, but how to retell them, just like Ovid himself. I really wanted to have a go at the marble maze. The stitching on that just looks so intricate. And the bright, ferocious colours on the snake sculpture. Wow, it was terrifying. I loved it. The idea to take the Midas story and turn it into a museum entry piece, so ingenious. And there were some magnificent little details in that piece as well. And the Minotaur mask, wow. I mean, that was ready to go on stage, so impressive. Well done, you should all be really proud of your inventiveness and your hard work. I hope that you enjoyed producing your creations as much as we enjoyed judging them. Thank you judges, some brilliant feedback there. The standard of entries this year has been incredibly high as you have seen and I expect it will be very difficult to decide on a winner. Now I understand that the winners are ready to be announced. Over to you Bob. Hello and greetings from Saffron Walden just outside Cambridge. I was delighted to be asked to announce the stars of this year's Ovid in the West Country competition because it's an event I've been closely involved with ever since its launch in 2017. I'm going to start with special commendations going through school by school in alphabetical order and then the moment you've all been waiting for I'll announce the winner. First the special commendations. From Cardiff High School we have Daedalus Curses His Genius, a very well constructed piece cleverly combining two stories in a single model. Next we have a beautifully drawn skiller from John of Gaunt School and from Nuance School we have a menacing minotaur's head in the form of a robust looking mask. The minotaur features again in this entry from Sheldon School, a very colourful and detailed cake in the form of a Greek trireme. And another response to the story of the Minotaur from St Catherine's School, a poem with a sympathetic and insightful take on the Minotaur's plight. But from Wydean School, something quite different, a very well crafted version of Orpheus's lyre and well done for noting that the ancient Greeks used the pentatonic scale. Finally, the overall winner, an ambitious and sophisticated response to the story of Midas and the Golden Touch in the form of a museum exhibit. This is an extremely well researched as well as beautifully realised piece of work and a worthy winner of the 2020 Ovid in the West Country competition. Well done to everyone who took part in the competition this year. I have been very impressed by the range and the quality of your responses to Ovid's stories. Fantastic. Thank you, Bob. Congratulations to all the lucky winners and to everyone who took part in this year's competition.
a remarkable achievement. I hope you've all enjoyed taking part and we hope to see many of you again next year. But for now, from me and everyone in the Ovid in the West Country team, goodbye. Bye. <laughs>